What's up guys, welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna to talk about why you should stop using splits, so time per 500 meters to program your workouts, whether we're talking about rowing, uh, bike erg, or uh, ski erg, so all the Concept2 machines. Uh, so I think it's a very important point, uh, so stick around for the rest of the video. Uh, but before I go into the details of this, I want to say that I'm a huge fan of those pieces of equipment, okay? I trained ferociously on the rower for over a year, got down to some decent times on, on the 2000 meter, and uh, really enjoyed the whole process. The machine is fantastic. It's virtually unbreakable. I've seen a couple chains snap on videos, but honestly, few and far between. I've seen world record power lifters and strongmen pull on that thing. It was bending, but it was not breaking. Uh, they're fantastic pieces of equipment. I own a rower myself now. I still I own a bike erg as well I spend uh, almost every day on the bike erg. So this video is definitely not uh, a hit on concept two. Uh, quite the contrary I highly recommend those pieces of equipment for general fitness for uh, conditioning even for athletes and obviously they're uh, very common in the CrossFit world as well So concept two props to you. These are fantastic uh, machines. Now, one thing that I've seen, and I spent quite a bit of time in the indoor rowing community a few years back when I was rowing uh, quite a bit, and one thing that I noticed, and I only realized that recently, um, I mean, I only realized the importance of this recently, is that a lot of the workouts are given in splits. Uh, the split, for those who don't know, is uh, essentially one of the ways to quantify how fast or how hard you're going on one of those machines. And the split is essentially the time that it would take you to cover 500 meters, okay? And that split is displayed in real time and is displayed as an average as well. And usually what you'll see is people usually base their workouts. For example, you take your 2,000 meter time, okay? So let's say you row an eight minute 2K. So 2,000 meters in eight minutes. That means you have a two minute split, okay? Two minutes for 500 meters covered on the rower. Quite, quite simple to, to picture this. Um, now the big problem with using splits as a base for programming workouts is that splits is not a linear scale. I'm gonna to explain to you what this means in just a second, uh, but just going back to what I was saying before, so say you rode an eight minute 2K on the rower, okay? Uh, so you have a 2K, uh, two minutes, sorry, two zero zero uh, per 500 meter split. And uh, oftentimes you'll find programs that base your training on this value of 2K split. Okay, 2K split, in this case, two minutes uh, flat. And maybe you would do a certain interval workout. For example, I'll take off the top of my head, six sets of uh, 400 meter row and uh, two minute rest, for example, and you would do that at 2K plus five. What that means is you take your 2K pace, in this case, two minute flat, and you add five seconds. That's 205, okay? Um, the problem is, again, like I said, split is not a linear scale. So when we go from two minutes to 205, and I'm gonna try and uh, remember the numbers off the top of my head here, you can go on concept2.com, there's a pace to watts converter, and you can see it for yourself. You can type in any watts, and it's gonna give you the uh, equivalent in pace and vice versa. So uh, what I mean when I say that the split is not a linear scale is that if you row at two minute flat, okay, that's equivalent to about 202, 202 watts, okay? Watts is a, is a, a unit of power, um, and that this, this one is linear, okay? So if you row uh, two flat, you're rowing about 202 watts. Now, if you're rowing a 205 split, you are gonna be rowing, if I'm not mistaken, 179 watts, okay? That's a, 25, a 23, sorry, watt difference between a 200 and a 205. I hope you're following me so far. Now, the problem is, let's say you're rowing uh, quite a bit faster and you're rowing a 640 2K. That would mean that you're rowing a 140 split, okay? One minute, 40 second for 500 meters. So now at 140, the equivalent in watts is 350 watts, okay? So a 140 split is 350 watts. The big issue with the split using the split to plan workouts based on a 2K pace is that now if I take my 2K pace, which is 140 split, and I add five seconds, that's 145. Well, it turns out that 145 is equal to 302 watts. 
Okay, so before when we went from 200 to 205, we had a 25 watt difference between those two. But now if I'm 140 and I row 145, I have a 48 watt difference, more than double the difference. Okay, so it's absolutely not in the same ballpark. It's, it's more than double the difference. And so I think personally, and I'd be happy to be wrong. If you disagree with me, please leave me a comment uh, below this video. I, and, and I know it's a tradition in the, in the rowing world to use those split times. I've used them myself for hundreds of workouts. Um, so I'm definitely not bashing anybody or anything, but I think that uh, using a linear scale to calibrate our intensities would make a lot more sense, uh, okay? Because when you add 10 watts, it's 10 more watts. Whether you go from 100 to 110 or 300 to 310, it's the same 10 watts. But when you add five seconds on a split, it varies tremendously depending on where on the scale you are. The faster you go, uh, the more those five seconds are going to represent in terms of intensity difference, okay? So the problem that I see is that when you're planning workouts with splits, you're uh, exposing yourself to those huge variations based on uh, what pace you might be going at. And like I said, a five second difference from 140 to 145 is not a, absolutely not the same difference as a 200 to a 205. So my suggestion would be to switch to watts, okay? So look at watts. You can go, when you finish a workout, when you finish a session, let's, see, let's say you've done a 2K and you've always looked at pace, and you, or sorry, yeah, always looked at splits, never looked at watts. Well, you go into your memory screen, into the menu, memory, look up your 2K, and then you press on unit, and you can convert that uh, split to watts, and you can see the value in watts. So what I'll recommend doing is start thinking in watts rather than thinking in splits, uh, because it's gonna help you, one, be a little bit more precise, okay? You can get a bit more granular with the watts rather than with the split, uh, but also now you're working with the linear scale, okay? And you, you really know what a plus 10, plus 20, plus 30 watts represents regardless of the intensity that you're at. So that would be my suggestion is try to switch to, maybe in, in the first place, don't switch completely to watts because you'll probably be a little bit lost for a few days. Although you could jump into the deep end and I'm sure you'll figure it out pretty quickly. But otherwise, just go gradually, start your sessions in splits, look at the equivalent in watts throughout the session, and then try to slowly shift your thinking to using watts so that you can have a linear scale to work with and uh, again, be a bit more precise. Uh, so that was it. I really think that whether you're rowing, whether you're using the bike erg or the ski erg, again, Concept2, those are fantastic machines. I have nothing to say. And the PM5, the screen that comes with it is Tremendous. If you want to track workouts, if you want to look at what you're doing, if you want to be precise, I really love those machines. Uh, but again, I've recently switched to using watts and I think it's a much better way of quantifying your work than it is with a split. Um, sometimes split is a little abstract. Obviously, once you're deep into it and you've been using for weeks, months, or maybe years, you don't think twice because splits make sense and you have kind of a framework to, to think about it. But again, it's a non-linear scale. It's an exponential scale. And I think that's problematic to plan different intensities of training. So again, my only recommendation would be think about watts, try to use watts instead of using splits uh, so that you could be a bit more precise with your programming and a bit more precise with your uh, workouts as well. Again, I'd love to hear some feedback about um, people out there, people that use Concept2, people that don't, people from the indoor rowing community and people that use Concept2 equipment. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear your point of view. I'm happy to be uh, told if I'm, if I'm wrong, no problem with that. Uh, again, just trying to generate a, a, a fruitful and helpful conversation. So here you go. Make sure whatever you do, to leave me a little like if you enjoyed the content of this video. Make sure you subscribe as well for more content. It's free and you can always change your mind later on that. Happy afternoon, sunny, I hope for you as well. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.